And that brings us to the next one. What's the difference between a quota sample and a stratified random sample? And the big difference there, I think we've talked about a little bit, is that when you actually go to, you create the samples, you create all your stratas or your, quote, your quotas in the same manner, whether it's quota sampling or stratified random sampling, you're creating the quotas in the same manner. The difference is that once you choose your quota and you say, I need seven College of Business males, for example, when you, if you're doing a quota sample, you go out and talk to students until you fill your quota, and it could be whoever you feel like talking to, so at that point it's a convenient sample. And if you're doing stratified random for, for this case, you go out and talk to the specific people that you pulled up on your random sample for your, for your stratification or your quota region. So I think the big difference here, the difference between quota sampling and stratified random sampling is once you have determined your sizes for each quota or strata you use convenience to fill the quota or use random sampling to fill the strata. So once you've determined how many people you want in each quota or strata, then if you're doing a quota sample, you're using convenient sampling to fill that number of people for that category or categories. And if you're using stratified random sampling, then you are using random sampling to fill the strata 